Hello and welcome. Please download the SmartThings app on your mobile to start TV setup. You may press the right button to set up the TV with the TV remote. The accessibility function is available when you press and hold the volume button. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the remote. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab my SmartThings app. Okay, so on my Samsung phone here, it's actually already trying to link the TV. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'm doing the, working this on my phone. So on the SmartThings app, it's asking me the location of it, the room it's going to go into. And now it's connecting to my TV. It's asking me, let's see, SmartThings wants access. So right now it's trying to connect to my TV. So now it wants the pin number. Okay, I have entered that onto the mobile. Now it's registering the TV to my Samsung account. It shows it's 53% complete. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you really can. Okay, now it wants to give my TV a name. I'll just leave the stock one. Here it is asking me who I want my voice assistant to be. Since I'm pretty much knee deep in Amazon, I'll just go ahead and stick with Alexa. Okay, and now it's letting me know that once it's complete, it's gonna back up my settings to the Samsung Cloud, which I already have, which I clicked on yes to do that. It's letting me know that I can control some devices using my Samsung phone now. Any device I can control on the phone using the Samsung, using the SmartThings app, it'll show up with a green. So I can turn it on off using the Samsung remote and the ones in red I cannot. Oh, actually it's telling me that, my bad. So these are already on, I'm guessing. Well, I'm not sure, we'll figure this out. But show me, I've got HDMI 1 connected. I've got uh, RF connected. I've got one on HDMI 4, which... Okay, yep, I do have one plugged in HDMI 4 and that one is off. And yep, HDMI 1 is turned on. I'm sorry. So yeah, HDMI 1 is turned on because I can see it. HDMI 4 is turned off, I can see that it's off. And I should have something in 2. Unless I didn't plug it in all the way, so I'll have to go back and check that. Unless, okay, let me see. Okay, apparently I forgot to plug in my HDMI 2 device, so I need to go back and do that. Oh, that's, that's good to know. So, yep, so what it is is saying HDMI 1 device is turned on because it's green. HDMI 4 is off because it's red. And my um, antenna is plugged in. So go ahead and click next. So now here it's talking about the adaptive view, adaptive picture. It says your TV will provide you with the optimized sound, brightness, and volume by analyzing your viewing environment and the current content. So at the very bottom, you had to check it if you wanted to do that, which I did. So I went ahead and checked it. Let's click next. Here it wants my zip code. Now it's asking me what apps I want to go ahead and add to the TV. So let's see what we got here. I actually don't want any of them that are listed right here. Okay, now it's asking me if I want to connect Spotify, which I do not. So I'll skip that. So it's asking me about my antenna, which I selected. Okay, now it says on both of them, it's all done. Click the done key, and there we go. I am connected now.